Today's episode of the Island Archives podcast is brought to you by Old Road Rum. Old Road Rum is driven by a desire to celebrate the cultural history of St. Kitts and Nevis and is tropically aged for 12 years to present the pure expression of a well-crafted rum. Today's episode of the Island Archive podcast would teach us about a famous figure who did math that was both right and wrong. Dr. Eric Williams was born in Trinidad in 1911. He was educated at Queen's Royal College. Then he won an island scholarship in 1932, which allowed him to attend St. Catherine's College in Oxford. In 1935, he received his BA in History and wanted to continue his studies, but found it difficult to secure the funding necessary to continue his research. A breakthrough came, however, in 1936, after he received a £50 grant to continue his research in history at Oxford due to the recommendation of Sir Alfred Claude Hollis, the governor of Trinidad and Tobago at the time. In 1938, he went on to obtain his doctorate under the supervision of prominent British historian Vincent Hallow. His doctoral thesis posited a theory that economics was a key driver, if not the motivation, for the end of African slavery, which was counter to the then popular idea that abolitionism was propelled by humanitarian and benevolent impulses. To put it another way, it wasn't the decency that did it, it was the dollars. Williams went on to join Howard University, where he put forward the idea that the island colonies of the Caribbean would be at the mercy of former colonial powers should they gain their independence, and became a leading advocate for what would become the West Indies Federation. After returning to Trinidad in 1948, Williams garnered much fame and attention by giving a series of educational public lectures in an enclosed pack outside of the Trinidad Courthouse in Port of Spain called the Woodford Square. He would often give presentations on slavery, Caribbean political economy, and even Greek philosophy to countless people who would come from far and wide to gather in the square and hear him present. Williams famously nicknamed the area the University of Woodford Square in a legendary speech which led to his rise in prominence. Obviously, he was quite the orator. To the surprise of no one, Williams inaugurated his own political party, the People's National Movement, or PNM, in 1956, which would take Trinidad and Tobago into independence in 1962 and dominate its post-colonial politics. Regionally, his work to encourage the formation of the West Indies Federation was realized in 1958, as a 10-member coalition emerged, with Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago being the dominant players. However, a perceived lack of balance of power and finance among the member states soon created tension and disfavor between these larger countries and their smaller counterparts. Jamaica would then withdraw from the federation, leaving Trinidad the untenable position of having to provide 75% of the federal budget, while having less than half the seats in the federal government. In other words, the dance wasn't playing for the lights. In a famous speech, Williams declared, one from 10 leaves not. And on January 15, 1962, he withdrew his country from the West Indies Federation, leading to its eventual demise. Eric Williams was a voluminous figure and a true visionary that was ahead of his time. His contributions to the discussions surrounding colonialism and regional integration earned him a well-deserved spot in the Island Archive. The Island Archive podcast is a Pelican Media Group production and is brought to you by Old Road Rum. To hear more, log on to www.islandarchive.com or check us out on all streaming platforms.